He's the man with the plan, and he spent a lot of time ruining time on different planes. But we've got a brand new Teferi that's here to save the day in an Astrod Midnight Hunt, and I'm going to tell you all about him. Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome to the Planeswalker Review, where I review Planeswalkers for the Oathbreaker format. If you want to support what I do here on the channel, please visit any of these sites above, and let's get into it. So, in Innistrad Midnight Hunt, Teferi is faced with an interesting problem that only he, as a time mage, can solve. The days are growing shorter, and the nights are go growing longer, and that gives the werewolves and creatures of the night Innistrad way more time to hunt the human inhabitants. What's a man who can control time to do? Try to lengthen time as best he can as he helps fight against the inhabitants that would eat the humans or otherwise use them. I'd have to say that knowing the lore, that I actually like this Teferi as a character, especially after reading a couple of the stories, and I definitely like to play him as a Planeswalker. As far as Planeswalker cards go, this Teferi's card is far more playable than usual if you want to play a fair game of Magic. If you want to play a competitive game of Magic, that's another story. Let's break down the card real quick. He costs two, a white and a blue, and he's a four loyalty Planeswalker. His first ability reads, plus one, choose up to one target artifact, one target creature, and one target land untap the chosen permanents you control, tap the chosen permanents you don't control, and gain two life. This is a nice little bit of tech for tapping down blockers, untapping resources you need, and otherwise just playing a little bit of shenanigans. You can tap down blockers for someone you want somebody else to attack and make a little bit of a political play, so that's an interesting move. And I haven't really seen a tap untap shenanigans commander, so there are maybe some creatures in white blue, but if you could use Teferi to untap them and get a second use out of their triggered ability, they're worth playing. His minus two ability reads, Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's excellent deck control. I'm never going to say no to card advantage on my chosen Planeswalker when I'm playing the game. In his minus seven reads, you get an emblem with untap all permanents you control during each opponent's untap step and you draw a card during each opponent's draw step. This is actually fairly amazing as far as an ability goes because it is essentially giving you a full turn in each of your opponent's turns to play your instant spells. If you have a way to, I don't know, like play a Veldalkin Ori and make all of your spells spell at instant speed, you've essentially earned three turns at the table since you're going to be taking one during each of your opponents. As far as signature spells go, I feel it's a really good idea to play into Teferi's abilities. So mass spells that will tap things down and keep them tapped down, like sleep, or things that will return creatures to their owner's hands, giving you more time to set up Teferi's emblem are going to be good. Don't want to suggest Cyclonic Rift here, but if you want to, you can run Cyclonic Rift here. As far as spells to play in his deck, I would run a smattering of nice sized creatures or walls just to defend him. You can get up to those seven loyalty counters needed to trigger his ability, but I'd also run the usual suite of proliferate creatures available to you in white and blue, and anything else you can get that's going to help you magnify the number of counters you can put on Teferi each turn. Like other Teferis, we can't use his abilities in every opponent's turn. It does bring me to one other thing I'd like to suggest here. You can run the other Teferis in this deck, and it will actually help you set up whatever your play plan is. I don't know if I'll be building a Teferi deck anytime soon. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. I really do want to hear what you have to think, and I hope you have a great day. This video is some use to you. Remember, your Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.